Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to episode 14 of the FIFA 20 My Player Career Mode. And uh, I'm recording this slightly different today. I've already recorded the footage and I'm just going to commentate over it. Um, so we're here with the last two games of the season for Aston Villa. And we're just going through how we got on in the game since we left after the, the Liverpool and Everton games. And uh, as you can see, it hasn't gone too bad beating Southampton 1-0. Losing 2-0 to Bournemouth away. Beating Manchester United 1-0 at home. Good result there. Beat Cardiff 9-0. That was absolutely crazy, that game. Uh, just They played such a high line, and we were just in every time. We got a few. I think we set up more than we scored. Uh, but that brings us nicely into today's episode. Tottenham away, and then we've got Bristol City in the second game. So let's get into this Tottenham game and, uh, and hope for a good end to our Aston Villa career. OK, it's the Villa lineup first. Tom Heaton, Target, Engels, Mings, Gilbert, Nakamba Holden, Ginkler McGinn ahead of him, Klaus and Trezeguet, either side of Sean Measures. A very similar lineup to always for Villa. And Tottenham, Lloris, Taylor, Konate, Tanganga, Ayoma, Dyer, Winks, Ali, Eriksson, and Kane and Son will lead the line. Deli Ali coming forward here for Tottenham. A very dangerous setup here for Tottenham with that triangle in the middle. Going to be difficult to get the ball off them. Don't expect a great deal of change out of Tottenham today. Deli Ali out wide for Taylor. Back inside to Ericsson looking for options. Can't find one. Chance maybe for Villa to break here. Lovely ball through, measures is in, he looks like he might have the pace on the defender, gets the shot off and just drags that wide of the post. Big chance there for Villa to take the lead at Tottenham and just dragged wide by measures. Ball into Ericsson's feet, he misses it. Villa now steal the ball and it looks like they could go on a break. Sean measures here behind the Tottenham defence. Bear and down on goal. Much a similar chance to earlier. Can he do any better with it? And it's a great strike and it's come off both posts before being cleared. Big, big chance for Aston Villa there goes begging. Villa win the ball back well there. It's Van Ginkle. Drops one back to Mings, back into Van Ginkle, who finds me. We're going to lay that one off to McGinn, who gives it back. Have we got space for the shot? We have been tackled. Still got the ball. Another shot, and the rebound's been put in, and that's offside. And uh, again, good pressure there from Aston Villa. And as you can see, as that shot come in from measures, very, very tight offside decision there. Villa now putting the pressure on here to into measures feet. Drops one off for McGinn. McGinn looking for an option out wide, maybe, but he dilly dallying, isn't doing a lot. But it's a lovely little ball. Ball's then put across to the far post. It's one, and the chance for Hurahane. It was a tight angle. Lloris was always favourite to stop that. Ericsson now pushing towards the Villa goal. Gets it back. Lovely ball inside, and that's a lovely strike there. Was that Sun? I think that might have been Sun. A really good strike. There hasn't been a great deal of Tottenham pressure, if I'm completely honest, but the quality has shone through in the end. And when you've got a front line of Harry Kane and Son with Ericsson, Deli Alley in behind, it, they're always going to be an attacking force. And a good build up there. Son found himself in a lot of room and, uh, and managed to pick out that top corner. Great strike from Son. And uh, that makes the score Tottenham 1, Aston Villa 0. Two minutes out of time at the end of this second half. It's looking unlikely that Villa are going to get back into this, even though they've deserved something from this game. Ball goes out to the wide left, not back to Matty Target. And that is where the referee is going to blow the whistle. A disappointing one nil defeat for Aston Villa, uh, but it was always going to be a tough place to come. So at the final whistle, it's Tottenham 1, Aston Villa nil. And after the game, we can see our penalties have gone up by two. So is our attack position and by three. Very nice. But after the game, we played a 7.4, shooting 50-50. Passing was 100%. We didn't do anything wrong. It was a decent game. OK, Tottenham game done. And we now approach the last game of the season against Bristol City. Surely should be a walk in the park. But it's a home game and gives us a chance to say goodbye to the loyal fans. Here come the lineups for the last game of the season. It's Heaton, Erkin, Engels, Mings and Gilbert. Nakamba, McGinn and Hurahane in the middle of the park. Trezeguet and Klaus out wide and measures up top. Few changes I would make, but it's not a bad starting lineup at all. And as for Bristol City, it's Theo Wallacott. 
uh, Callas, Bright, Williams, centre half, uh, Threesome, Hunt, Da Silva, Brownhill, Nagy, Schmodix, Taylor, and Hines. Villa on the ball here. McGinn turns straight into his man. Does manage to keep the ball though. Now Camber and Ahura Hain, a slightly strange ball back to him, but McGinn finds the feet of measures. Lovely little turn there. Going to look for some support. Gets it in McGinn. Horahane looks back for measures, and it's a very tame shot straight at the goalkeeper. Throw in to Villa. Gilbert, the fullback, finds Klaus inside to McGinn. Back to Gilbert. Cuts inside. He's got options. Finds some. McGinn, lovely little touch to measures. Lovely little turn. Can he get the shot if he can? It's straight down the keeper's throat, but a good save. It's all a little bit tight in there. It's Nakama now into measures. Now he can turn and drive towards goal. Gets the shot off again and strikes the post. A great effort there from measures. But looks like today may not be his day. Ball down this right-hand side for Bristol City. Hunt gets the ball in the box. Headed clear. Can we get it clear once more? Scrambling around a little bit. But finally, the ball is down this left-hand side. Launched forward into Measures' path. Tries to chest it down, hold that ball up, and does so very well. Trezeguet straight into the path of Measures. Not what he wanted, but he's managed to bumble his way through here. And can he create a chance from this? He's going past everyone. He tries to get the shot off. And just a, a little... It went a little bit wrong in the run in the, towards the end there, but did manage to get a decent shot off. Just blocked. Ball on the edge of the box. Can Villa find a shooting opportunity here? The names have disappeared. I can't commentate, but this looks like Conor Hurahane. Looks like he's about to get the cross in. And that's a clumsy tackle. And that is looking like a penalty there for Aston Villa. And it should be Sean Measures that gets to take the penalty. And what a way to send ourselves off on the last game for Aston Villa before we head back to Arsenal. Ashley Williams with a real clumsy challenge there and measures with a chance to make this 1-0. Going for the top left-hand corner and that is an absolute shocker of a penalty. A real bad penalty there. Did everything right but just must have got really unlucky. And a slow day at the office indeed for Sean Measures. Ball down the flank for Measures to chase. Turns it back over the defender, plays it inside, gets it immediately back. Probably didn't want it, but does get it. Chance for Hurahane, and that is a fantastic save from Wallacott there. Looked like he was uh, his body weight had already shifted to the other side, but he's just put a hand out and managed to get something on that. Really, really good save. Looks for Hines. Can they work the cross? Brownhill, Hines. Brownhill gets it back. Back out to Hunt again. Lovely little knock past his defender there. Ball comes into the box and headed clear. But again, only as far as De Silva. Still Bristol City possession here. It's Hines. Big turn. And that looks contentious. And it is. It's a penalty. The referee has given it. It looked a little bit more 50-50 than, uh, than the penalty that we got. But it definitely looked a little bit clumsy. I think he's won the ball there. He's won the ball. Don't quite know how that's a penalty, but the referee's given it. VAR has not got involved, and this gives Taylor a big chance to send Bristol City ahead in this fixture. And he's blazed it over the bar. He's blazed it over the bar. Two penalties in today's game. Look at that. Came right off the end of his toe. Always leaning back. A shocking penalty there from Bristol City. Villa could, uh, could do with three points here today. And the ball's played into Measures' feet. Nakamba Measures turns off his man. Gets the shot away and drags that pretty badly wide there. Not a great effort from Measures. Maybe a little bit desperate to score in front of the home fans for the last time this season. As Van Ginkle will come on for Aston Villa. Three minutes at a time here in this second half. And it's all over. The referee brings the game to a close. And it's a disappointing game. Disappointing result, really. Uh, two penalties. A penalty apiece for each team. Uh, but we'll take the nil-nil in our last game. And as you can see here, we played 6.7. We were pretty bad. We had 10 shots. Eight of them off target. 86% passing, though, which ain't too bad. We'll take the 6.7 and move on. OK, so the season is wrapped up. We're going to have a few chances to see if we can get ourselves to 87 before we return to Arsenal. And we're not going to be too far off at all. 
so we're just going to sim towards the end of the season here. We'll have a little look at the tables uh, and, and things like that. See who won what. And, uh, and like I said, the most important thing, let's get some of that training in so that we can try and bump ourselves up to an 87 before we head back to Arsenal. And we're really not far off it now. OK, so some of the stats now for Aston Villa during the season. As you can see, we were a hugely key player. Um, far ahead of everyone else. But Grealish, Trezeguet really did stand out as good, good players for the club. OK, so the league table now. Liverpool kind of runaway winners. Man City made it close. So did Manchester United, really. Really high points total for, for the top three or four, really. Um, but Arsenal finishing in sixth. But I think, because I have played on the game in the background, they do manage to get Europa League football for when we go back next season. Must be something to do with the winners. Chelsea disappointing down in seventh. Villa will finish tenth. A very good season, a top ten finish, keeping Leicester out of the top ten. Uh, and the three that will go down will be Burnley, Leeds and Bristol City. And the FA Cup next. It's Manchester City that take that beat in Liverpool 2-0 in the final. And the Carabao Cup, nearly a carbon copy. Manchester City lifting it, beating Manchester United 2-1 in the final. UEFA Super Cup was dealt with a lot earlier in the season, but Barcelona lifted that, beating Manchester United 3-1. And the Champions League, I can tell you Atletico Madrid went on to win that final 3-0. Big, big result for them. And uh, we've also got the Europa League as well that we'll check now. I believe it was, uh, was it a Sporting or and Milan final. Yes, it was. And Milan won that final as well. So that is all of the winners of the season uh, completely wrapped up. Little check up on the World Cup qualifiers there. Looks like we will qualify with Denmark. Um, hopefully we stay in top spot so we don't have to worry about the playoffs. OK, so that wraps up the season. There's nothing else to do but sim the time forward and get ourselves back to Arsenal where we can carry on our career and carry on this save and what this save is all about. And that is trying to win the Premier League and or Champions League with Arsenal or whatever club we decide to go to. So that it, I think it's been a good season at Villa. I've, I've enjoyed it. It maybe didn't start fantastically well, uh, but we ended up scoring quite a lot of goals. 21 in 41. I'll take that with a player at our level. Uh, so we scored a few, um, and like I say, a top, top 10 finish. We didn't finish that far behind Arsenal. But we are going to leave the episode there. The next time you will see us, we, we will be back in an Arsenal shirt, playing for Arsenal at the Emirates. And uh, I've seen their squad. It's good in places. It's very bad in others. Lots of sales uh, and lots of strange buys of really good older players. But we'll get into that next episode. So thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you in the next episode.